Today we're reviewing a set that's perfect to build solo. Stay tuned as we review set number 75137, Carbon Freezing Chamber, here on Talk Bricks. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Talk Bricks, where I bring you the latest in LEGO news and reviews. Michael here, and I'm so excited to bring you guys another Star Wars review. Today, from the original trilogy, we have the Carbon Freezing Chamber. This set has 231 pieces and retails for $24.99. I was able to pick up this set at my local Walmart store in the U.S. But before we get too far into the set, let's talk about everyone's favorite part, the minifigures. First up, we have Han Solo on the left and Ugnaught on the right. The Han Solo figure looks really nice with the traditional white shirt that we love from the movie, but this look is a more concerned look than we've seen on Han. He also has a double-sided face, with the other side being the face he makes just before he gets frozen. The Ugnok figure looks really nice. We've never gotten him before, and it's a really interesting head sculpt. It has all sorts of nice printing, especially with the bearded detail. I really love the torso print with the asymmetric overall design, as well as the short blue legs. And from the back, we can see the great continuation of the overalls. And finally, we have Boba Fett, and Boba Fett keeps getting better and better with every version. He's got all sorts of battle damage across the helmet and the torso and leg printing, and I just think this adds a lot of fun realism. You can see the print on the torso continues onto the legs with a lot of really intricate details, and I think this helps just make him really authentic. Under the helmet, we have this standard face that we see on all the troopers, which makes sense. From the side, we get a great shot of his weapon, as well as that interesting shoulder cape piece. From the back, we can see the jetpack piece, and with all that removed, we can see a great continuation of the print on the back. The main build from the set is, of course, the carbon freezing chamber, but this only represents a section, as you can see from the back. It has a lot of really nice details, and they use pops of orange throughout to create the glow that we remember from the movie. The centerpiece, of course, is the Han Solo Frozen in Carbonite piece, and it has such great printing and a really exceptional mold to Lego-fy the version from the movie. From the top of the platform, we can see how they recreated the grates with those translucent orange pieces to create the glow. There are two ways to get up on the platform. First is this large staircase with these fun orange translucent details. The second is this small elevator piece. Simply place a minifigure on top, and raise it using the handle on the right. You can also flip around the end of that to lock it in the upward position. The main play feature of this set allows us to simulate the freezing of Han Solo. He sits in the back of this piece, and then the mechanism flips him around to create the effect. Simply pull on this piece, spin it around, and press it forward. While this isn't exactly how it works in the movie, this is a really fun mechanism, and I love the way that it works with the Technic construction. The final section of the platform has this control panel piece, and this is a printed piece with all of the buttons and details. From the outside, you can see some nice details with those sections clipped in at the top. This whole piece can also be pulled open to reveal another feature. On the inside, you simply lower this platform piece, place Han Solo inside, and raise it to hide the minifigure. And here we have everything back together for my final thoughts. The Carbon Freezing Chamber is a pretty simple set. There's not too much to it, and there's only a handful of play features. But I do like that it's a play set and not a spaceship like most Star Wars sets. This is also a very iconic moment from the movie, and it comes with a lot of really great figures to represent that. I think it makes a pretty nice display piece, and at only $24.99, it's not nearly the most expensive set. But those are just my thoughts about the set, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Let me know, will you be picking up this set? And what, if anything, do you think this set is missing? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Did you miss out on the Star Wars Toy Fair announcements? Click on this annotation to watch that video, and don't forget to subscribe.